yourself and what course do you teach? Uh, my name is Emad Taj Khurshid. I'm a professor of biochemistry and biophysics, also affiliated with the Beckman Institute, and I teach uh, uh, biochemistry 440B or chemistry 440B, which is physical biochemistry. And when is the course offered? So the, care, the course is offered uh, usually in the fall, uh, um, and uh, we have a uh, that's it. Or, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. Can you give us an overview of the course? What kind of learning goals? Okay, so the on? course is uh, essentially uh, around the principles of physical chemistry. So that these are standard thermodynamics and kinetics uh, principles, but with heavy emphasis on biological systems or biochemical processes. So we try to integrate. Um, important examples for biochemical processes like protein folding, enzyme kinetics, um, hydrophobic interactions and things of that sort that are highly relevant to biological systems um, into the course and use them to apply thermodynamic and kinetic principles. What kind of background knowledge should students come with? Uh, the students can come into the course from chemistry, physics, um, bioengineering, biochemistry and biology backgrounds. Uh, so they need to know some calculus and some basic math uh, skills to be able to follow the derivations. So the emphasis is not much on the derivation of the relationship, but in order to understand uh, the derivation and being able to follow those, uh, it's, it's useful to have enough math background. A little bit biology or chemistry background would be also very helpful, <coughs> so they can follow the material and examples, uh, uh, but um, nothing advanced is really required. And the topics that are taught in the course, how do they apply to research and medical science in general? So the topics that we cover in the, in the course are highly relevant to modern biochemical, biophysical definitely, uh, and chemical research, so these are you know, thermodynamics and kinetics, these are very fundamental concepts in many areas of physics, physical chemistry, chemistry and biochemistry these days. So, uh, um, and I think actually the, the fact that we are developing these concepts using biological materials prepares the students to do research at the interface between biology and chemistry or biology and physics. Uh, so, um, uh, these concepts can be really useful for experimental or computational or theoretical aspects of, uh, of research in biophysics and biochemistry. Awesome. That's everything about the course material. Now, I was thinking we could talk about logistics of the course. Uh, how's it, how is it graded? Uh, office hours, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, we can begin with how it's graded. Right. So, uh, the course is actually we evaluate the students by uh, a series of homeworks. So, these are really um, there to establish the concepts, to make sure that the student go through the, through the material, think about them and apply some of the derivations and formula that we develop in the course. That's going to be 25% uh, of the grade. And then we have three exams, each taking 25%, so that's going to be 100% of the grade. Uh, is there a textbook? So there is no standard textbook for the course because again this is a, a kind of new idea. Um, it's The course includes physical chemistry concepts and principles. Um, definitely the students can use any physical chemistry textbook if they want to go deeper and deeper into the concepts and the, 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 the derivations. But again we are presenting this material in the, in the context of biochemistry and biochemical systems. So therefore, uh, there is no standard textbook. Some biochemistry textbooks include uh, uh, sort of heavy emphasis on thermodynamic and kinetics, but they include too much biology and biochemistry. So we, um, we don't have a textbook specifically for this kind of uh, course. Uh, Dr. Guinness uh, is in the process of developing actually a textbook for physical biochemistry and we are using some of the chapters that have been written by him in a draft form as the, as the sort of um, reference book for the course. Awesome. Are there any points associated with attendance? 
the, there are no points associated. Attendance is not currently required. Uh, we might change that actually, but um, um, clearly, sort of sometimes we take note of attendance, and uh, for borderline cases, actually, attendance can help uh, and can be taken into account. But right now, we don't require attendance again. It, this might change in the future. All right. Do you want to add anything else about the course? Well, um, I find this course really a sort of um, great idea. This was um, established, this, this idea was established by Dr. Guinness. Um, and uh, I think it's a great idea because, again, uh, we have more and more research performed at the interface between biology and more quantitative areas. And uh, the concepts of uh, physical chemistry, specifically thermodynamics and kinetics, are so fundamental to many modern areas of science that we do. So I find it really nice uh, opportunity for the students to learn both physical chemistry and biochemistry almost at the same time with close connection between them. I'm, I'm sure they can apply it to many areas of research and, uh, uh, and science. Okay, and the last portion of the video is about you, not the course. A lot of people want to know who's teaching the course. Okay. Uh, so can you talk about your own research? Um, I, okay, so this is just about the research, not my education, just my research? Yeah, you can talk about anything you okay, want. Okay, anything I want. So I, uh, I am a pharmacist and chemist by background, uh, but then I did my uh, doctorate degree in biophysics, and currently I'm involved in computational biophysics research. Uh, specifically, we do simulations of proteins and other biomolecular systems to understand the relationship between the structure and dynamics motion of molecular systems and their function. So this is a, a very exciting area, sort of uh, enabled by supercomputing facilities that we have uh, available to us these days and great programs that we have available. But it really requires heavily on uh, on being able to implement physical principles uh, into computer programs to be able to simulate molecules to, to understand their function. And as you can imagine, again, principles of thermodynamics, advanced thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, the motions at, on, the, on the microscopic level of atoms and how it is governed by temperature, heat exchange, and work exchange mechanical force, these are essential and fundamental concepts. Uh, for my research. So I really enjoy the course because it brings me back to some of those fundamentals that we apply every day to our uh, research. Um, and uh, I would like and I'm planning actually to include more and more examples from simulation and my research. Is the there course. a specific class of proteins that you look at? So yes, I work on membrane proteins. Uh, that's the specialty of the, of the group. Um, for example, channels and transporters that are involved in transport of material across the membrane, many signaling proteins, peripheral proteins that bind to the membrane, and that's important for their activation. So all the membrane-associated molecular phenomena is something that uh, uh, we work on and we are very well known for. Awesome. And then the last part is what do you do for fun outside of, outside of research? Okay. So what do I do for fun outside research? Um, I'd love to spend uh, time with my son, so that's one of my main other tasks. Uh, but I, what do you I, do with your son? <laughs> we run, we actually we do exercise, we swim, and we run. So that's really, if I had time, I would be spending like several hours <laughs> every day in the gym. <laughs> awesome. Uh, anything else you want to add? Thank you. <laughs> yep.